Welcome to the behind the scenes opportunity at the shop of Hot Rod legend Pete Ardema in San Diego, California. In this video, we're going to take you inside Pete and Kevin's world on their latest project, a custom built V12 engine. Over the past few months, we've captured dozens of moments of unedited video along with the series of still photographs you will see at the end capturing the ingenuity and sheer talent these two bring to the table. So sit back and enjoy this unique glimpse into the artistry and innovation that define Pete and Kevin's work. We hope you enjoy. I was checking the valve clearance and dialing the cam into the right position. And then I'm, I got clay in there right now to check the piston, the valve clearance to make sure that I'm, you know, have enough valve clearance, valve clearance, clearance the top. RPM. And I'm also checking the uh, head Piston to head clearance. What is a well. what's a good number? Like what type of number are you trying to achieve well, for the we clearance? Well, we were at forty before, and we pistons hit, so I'm going probably about. I'm trying to get about fifty. Okay, so you're adding about ten more thousands. Yeah. And then the you know I'm trying to get in the uh, sixty range for the intake valves, and and um, about ninety on the exhaust. Is that because exhausts grow with the heat? Well, or is that why would they? Why are they different? The main, the, well, the, everything grows as far as with. I mean, it's your intake. You know, the, the piston and the rod and all stretch or get hot mm -hmm. and grow. So I'm. I just want to make sure I got enough clearance there. And the reason I'm giving a little extra on the intake is we want to be able to move the cams. We're making this so these are adjustable. Yeah. So, I mean, I probably don't need quite that much on the intake, but because we want to be able to move this, I want to have a little extra clearance so that I can advance and retard the cams. Just for optimal. And, and find difference. the right position. So you did that on one cylinder, do you have to do it on more or just, no, just this one pretty these much? These heads are pretty close now because we went through and equalized all the chambers. Okay. That's one of the mistakes we made on the other motor is I didn't equalize all the chambers as far as the depth of everything. And so I think that's why we had, you know, some of the problems we've had. Sure. So now all the CCs and all the chambers are the same. Okay, uh, so, so. that's pretty cool. What's the next step now in the build process? Well, I want to go take the pistons out to Jeff and have them kind of look at it to see what we can do. This is one of the pistons? That was the stock piston. And because we're using smaller valves, you know, after I took the cuts on them, they look different. So they're going to have um, you know, a, a different kind of pattern in here, and then there's two circles here. And then I want to see what you know what we can do to blend them in so that that doesn't disturb the flame travels. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay. Special Opti torque spreads. Special Opti Torque washer. So what does that tell you? I just want to make sure they're not squished down to nothing. So they obviously got squished here and there, right? Yeah, but no, that was more. These, I, I was playing with the timing and it didn't know the timing. But this is the big, the big thing is that these here are the pistons not hitting the head. Hit it out. And you can see here, uh-huh. Uh, see here and there is where we were hitting before. You can see I got plenty of room on the intake. What did you use? So you're saying it's not a good shape, huh? Well, no, these are all sharp edges that are going to screw up the flame travel. So I need to kind of smooth some of that out. <laughs> Try to smooth the least amount I can on that gun so that it doesn't hurt our compression but doesn't hurt the flame travel as is a problem. Intake pockets for the valve relief 
so the piston doesn't hit the valves is the idea. <laughs> this is my homemade piston vise. <laughs> So what do they look? This is one that's not cut, right? Yeah, this is not cut. Um, so you can see where it, you know, cut cut this area here down. Basically, I think it's around 60 more. Okay. This is what it looks like when what they're gonna look like when they're done. You have to we softened up all these edges so that you know I'll take all the burrs off and then bring it down so that. It, so you can see quite a difference here. There's a lot of wall right there. Yeah, and and now, just, it's, now it flows through, kind of, right? Well, and this or, will be more like this. Okay. But, you know, we sanded this down to take off all, and then try to take off any sharp edges. Yeah. As many sharp edges you can. And unfortunately, these are, you know, these are pistons that were already made for the original Aurora, so that's why, you know, I'm, I'm running a smaller exhaust valve than they ran originally. So that's why there's a step you know, right right that step, okay. Yeah. So you got one more to go. Yep. The last one. The one you're looking for. I'll do the back one. This one's here, right? Um, this is our uh, figuring out our compression ratio. So this, this is, is like our, the National Archives where you archive all your stuff? Yeah, this is. Yeah. Well, I took a picture of it. <laughs> but this is our um, gas CCs. This is our piston CCs because it actually is. Even though it's a dome, it um, sticks up because of the valve pockets. It's 5.43 cc's. The chamber is 22 and a half. And then this is the, the cylinder is 14.09. And this is the 49.9 is with all this added together. Okay. So then when you take the total amount and then you take the chamber, you know, from this up added together and divide that into that, we get a compression ratio of 12.79 to one. Okay. We would like a little more. It would be nice if we could get in the, uh, you know, mid to high 13s. Okay. But, but that's, Those are all your calcs. <laughs> when the problem is we, you know, we're running the valves that came with a head on the intake side, we were able to downsize the exhaust, but um, because these valves are so big, it just won't allow me to get much better compression ratio. Mm